Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm starting with no makeup on. I'm sorry. I know it's a little scary. I'm sorry. But today I'm going to just be sitting down and getting ready for you for the night. And I'm going to kind of do a Kylie Jenner inspired makeup look. I'm going to show you guys the inspiration photo right now. I'm going to be doing something similar to that. So that's the look I'm kind of inspired by, especially the eyes. The lips, we'll see what happens there, because um, dark lips don't look that great on me. <laughs> but, yes, if you want to get ready with me and see me get ready for tonight, then please keep watching. I'm starting out like a, li a little naked mole rat. No makeup on. But I'm going to now do my eyebrows, because actually makeup by Ariel which is um, Kylie Jenner's makeup artist, he tends to like to start with the eyebrows. So, I'm going to do it in his manner. I learned that Kylie actually loves to use eyebrow pencils, so I just am using my NYX eyebrow pencil. Normally, I film my videos on a, like a Monday or Tuesday, but today I'm filming it on a Friday. So I thought, why not get ready for the Friday night in front of the camera. Ignore my chest. I got a heat rash actually last night. And I prefer not to put clothes on it. So I, I'm trying to wear like off the shoulder today. Even though it's really bothering me that, that like you could see all the little spots. But my skin is super sensitive so if I'm to... So if I were to put my clothes, like a t-shirt or something, on top of the rash, it probably would have irritated it more, so excuse all day. So now that my eyebrows are filled in, I'm going to go ahead and put concealer on. And I'm going to actually carve out my eyebrows, which is something I normally don't do. But I know that Kylie does it, so I'm going to go ahead and do that for y'all. The product that I don't use to carve out my eyebrows, I'm going to drag down onto my eyelids to use as an eyeshadow base. I'm using like a super small brush because honestly all the other ones that I would want to use to do that are covered in like pink or colorful colors. This takes a lot of concentration for me. Um, I normally don't carve my eyebrows, but when I do, I have to pay attention so hard because it's just not something normal for me. <laughs> okay, so the eyebrows carved, and I'm going to go ahead and take my sponge and just dab the extra product all over the eye and just blend it in. Okay, and now I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, so my eyebrows are carved out and I have the concealer on my eyelids. So now I'm going to actually just apply some setting powder on top of my eyelids so that the concealer doesn't crease. No one likes some creasy eyelids. So I'm just going to pack a little bit of powder on top. Okay, so now it's only fitting to use a Kylie Cosmetics palette. I'm going to be using the Royal Peach palette, which is so beautiful. And I'm actually going to go in to this color right here. I think it's called Crush. Both of my dogs are in my room right now and they're being very strange what are you doing baby so if you hear little footsteps it's them being little crackheads so i'm gonna go ahead and take that color crush i'm gonna pack it all over my lid because she doesn't seem to have in those photos like the ones i'm using for inspiration for inspiration inspiration um she doesn't seem to have like a lot of light shadow on her lid it just seems to be like brown and then 
kind of like winged out brown brown eyeliner probably just eyeshadow that's what it looked like to me so I'm just gonna be doing that it's really simple but I think it's so pretty I'm gonna deepen it up a little bit with this color right here it's a little bit of a peach color but it's darker than the last color that we just used and I'm gonna pack that just on the outer corner close to the lash line okay so I think that that is good for those eyeshadows I'm gonna now go in with a dark brown and line my lash line and wing it out slightly because that's that's kind of her signature look if you look at through her Instagram or through anything especially when she's doing makeup promotion like a photo shoot for her makeup line for Kylie Cosmetics she tends to always kind of do like a smoked out brown liner and then like very neutral eye so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so I'm gonna go in with the Life's a Drag palette which is funny because it's like two eyes I think that's funny <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with the color Hunty which is a very like ashy brown and then I'm gonna go in with Mug as the darkest color just right along the lash line okay so I'm gonna go with this very pointed I'm gonna show you guys this this really pointed little brush and I'm gonna go in with mug a very small amount and just line my lash line now you see how that added a little bit more depth and you can kind of see the wing as opposed to this eye okay so now I'm gonna go in with a small little blending brush and just blend that dark brown into the other colors that we already have on our lid I'm gonna go in with a little bit of mug and a little a little tiny 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 bit of shady just to really make it dark just right on the outer corner Now I'm going to clean up under my eyes and alongside the wing with the same concealer that we used to cut the brows. Cut the brows? Yeah. So I just put a little bit because I have dark circles. And I don't know if any of you guys have noticed, but in the last videos, well, my, a lot of my life. So I have this little scar here under me, underneath my eye. So it is a little bit difficult to, when I apply makeup, and it like kind of shows the divot of the scar. I actually had to get stitches there, so the scar is pretty intense. I'm going to go ahead and start blending that out with a brush and blending it down onto my face. And then I'm going to go with the sponge and get alongside the eyeshadow. Something I love about Kylie's makeup is that it's very matte most of the time. And I love matte makeup. So I'm going to go in with that same little brush that I used to carve out my eyebrows. And I'm going to carve out kind of the winged liner that we have created with eyeshadow. My contact is like dying on me right now <sighs> okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and move on with my foundation I'm gonna be using the fit me foundation the matte and poreless one because her skin is always very matte and poreless and I actually don't like using primers if you haven't noticed in a lot of my videos I haven't I I don't think that they do anything as long as your skin is clean and moisturized underneath your makeup. I think it like in it lasts fine. 
So I'm just going to put that all over my face. I was going to do one of Kylie's hairstyles, but my hair for the past like two weeks has not been cooperating at all. I absolutely hate it. I had to wear half for like two days straight actually, and I hate that because I feel like hats are somewhat damaging to your hair. It's probably not true, but I don't think it could be good for it. And I'm like very much into the health of my hair. I rarely use heat. I don't really do anything. I just kind of leave it natural how it is. So, excuse my hair in this video and in my last video because I was having some, some difficulties there. So, I'm going to apply another layer, especially to my cheek right here because I have that little scar. It's annoying. And again, I'm applying this with a brush because brushes give you a lot more coverage than sponges do. But I will go over with my sponge just to help blend everything in. And I'm going to go with the lighter concealer that we used around the eyes on top of my lips and on my smile lines because I have a lot of darkness there. I hate it, but... You gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go with my little sponge and dab all over my face. So that is that, and I'm gonna go ahead and set my face completely with powder, just a dust powder all over my face, and then I'm gonna bake because Makeup by Ariel and Kylie are big fans of baking. So, I'm going to do that. And I always bake. I'm a huge fan of baking. Like, whenever I go out, I bake anyways. So, so I'm just going to take a huge fluffy brush and put a little bit of my Cover FX powder all over my face. That went in my eye. And Makeup by Ariel, which is... Kylie's makeup artist actually said in his masterclass, <laughs> I forgot the word, um, that he likes to powder the face first completely. And I, I've said this in another video, that he likes to powder the face completely and then go in and bake because you don't want the bake to cling so much to your foundation where you, you are left with like a white cast. So you want to get it powdered and a little bit dry already, and then bake just on top of that. It'll still do everything that baking is supposed to do, but it won't leave you with any white cast or anything like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and bake my face. When Kylie does her own makeup, she actually prefers to use powder contour rather than cream. I remember she said on one of her Snapchats and I actually prefer that as well because I feel like cream can be too much sometimes but if you really want like that look of the cream then go for it. But I prefer just powder especially because I do like that matte look. But using a wet sponge to bake or apply powder to your face is actually a really good idea because it helps it not be too ashy or gross. I always, always have to bake my smile lines because I smile a lot and I end up with creases there no matter what I try, no matter if I put a primer under there that's supposed to have silicone and fill pores. Mm -mm, it doesn't work. Oh well, it's not a bad thing to smile, so why not? I'm going to go in with that little small shader brush and go in with that very first color that we used from the Kylie palette and run that along my lash line. I'm going to wipe off. Obviously the bake is going to wipe off when I'm doing this, which is fine. So that is it for eyeshadow. 
I'm going to go ahead and wipe away the bake because my skin is a little dry today. I don't want it clinging too much to my face. So now I'm going to go ahead and go in with blush and bronzer. For bronzer, I'm going to go in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in medium deep. I use this all the time, like every single video that I've made, every single day that I wear bronzer, this is what I'm wearing. I've tried the Hoola bronzer by Benefit. I've tried a couple different bronzers, but honestly, that this one is my all-time favorite. So I'm just going to use that to slightly contour, but also just bronze up the skin. I'm going to put that on my forehead and make it look smaller. Let me know if you guys have any bronzers that you love. Bronzers or contour shades that you really love. I really want to try the contour, the Kat Von D shade in light palette. I heard that that's really good. Because I am looking for a little bit more of an ashy brown shade to contour with. I don't mind how... This one looks where it's a little bit warmer because my skin is very warm naturally so it doesn't look that bad but just sometimes I want a little bit more of an ashy brown shade. Okay so now I'm going to do blush. Kylie loves blush so I'm actually going to layer on two blushes. I'm going to use a blush that comes in that same little palette with the butter bronzer and I'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks. I'm going to go in with this Milani blush and just apply that on top. So now I'm going to move on to eyelashes. Kylie constantly has eyelash extensions on. She's talked about them before. So I'm going to kind of recreate that look with individual lashes. These are just Ardell double up lashes. I'm going to apply them very like fluffy and try to create like a little wispy effect with them because that's how Kylie's lashes are. I totally forgot. I have to apply mascara first. So I'm going to go ahead and take this Maybelline Full and Soft Mascara and just apply that on my lashes. My lashes are like straight and like very sparse. So that probably didn't make any difference. But, you know, they're the lashes I'm born with. Which I'm always like kind of upset because my eyebrows are so thick, but my lashes are like non-existent. It's very strange because normally if you have thick eyebrows, you have thick lashes. I guess that just didn't happen with me. So, the lashes are on. Focus. I always love how little individual lashes look, but they, they just take so much longer than like strip lashes. So I always end up just wearing strip lashes, but then I wear these and I'm like, oh my god, it looks amazing. But then I don't do it again. Because you can kind of just build your own pair of strip lashes, you know, using like the medium length ones, the short ones, the long ones. But um, now I'm going to apply mascara on my bottom lashes and then we're going to move on to lips. Scary part. Okay. So those are the eyes completely done. So now I'm going to go in with the Kylie Lip Kit. I'm going to go in with Dose K. Dose. 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 I'm going to put some chapstick on because my lips are crusty. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the lip liner. I'm just going to line my lips. And in honor of Kylie, I'm going to overline or try to overline my lips. I have a very thick ridge, so it's a little hard, but I'll try.
So now I'm going to take a little bit of the actual liquid lipstick and I'm going to take a small little brush and go along what we, what I did with the actual lip line just so it's very crisp because Kylie's all about her lips and I'm going to try to make them as crisp as possible. So I'm actually going to just use that same little brush that I was using to carve out everything and I'm going to wipe off all the products and apply some of the lipstick to the back of my hand and do it that way. So now I'm going to go with the actual liquid lipstick and just dab it on my lips and then brush it in. So this is the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to enjoy my night. And please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next week.